Hey guys, my name is Liz, and this is my 2012 Chevy Box Van. One thing I love about this van is it has a ladder, which you can easily go to the top. And on the top here, we have 400 watts of solar panels. All right, so in here, I'll give you guys a quick little tour. We have our Sunbrella fabric cushions, which we sewed ourselves. And what I love about these cushions is they're waterproof. So if you're a klutz like me and you spill your drinks, you don't have to worry about it because they don't stain and it just easily comes off. We have our little table right here and it's on a Lagoon swivel mount. So it just swivels and you can kind of put it wherever you want to. Um, I love that this area can seat about eight people, four people on each side. And um, it's great because we have our bed above us. And so it saves a lot of space having, uh, yeah, the bed above the dinette. We're on a, a electric bed lift for the bed. It's called a happy jack. And we just push this button right here and it drops all the way down and can bring you know bring it all the way down to the table and then we just push the button and it goes back up and it's nice because we don't have to make the bed every day so we have a huge window over here and it's actually an exit window in case you need it to exit the van for an emergency but it's a nice window pop out the screen if you want to and we wanted a, a van that was very stealthy so this is actually the only window um, around the whole box and we chose this side of the van for the window because usually when you park parallel, you're facing that side. So it's very stealthy for a box truck. Um, it looks like a work vehicle. And yeah, that's the only window. So moving on to the kitchen, uh, we actually went with Ikea cabinets because they're really beautiful. We love the sage green color and they're very sturdy and easy to install. And so up here, we just have all of our kitchen stuff. Um, down here is a electric water heater, which heats the water for the shower. Here is our fancy little sink with the water pump that you just turn on. And this water is actually filtered so we can drink it straight from the tap. We have a little dimmer switch under here, which is nice. And we have a full plug. If we wanted to do, you know, blender, food processor, whatever, we can just plug it in. And we actually have an induction stove that we decide to put up here and plug it in when we're ready to cook. And we actually prefer having the induction that you can remove from the counter um, because it just keeps it clean in case you wanted to do something else with this space. And it just, it, yeah, it's nice to just be able to put away the stove. And we have a, just more pots and pans on this side. And then moving over to this side, we have a 12 volt Dometic fridge which we love. Um, I like to have this type of fridge instead of the ones that like lift up because it makes me feel like I'm in a home. So I really appreciate this. It has a little freezer in there and we just store the induction stove right on top. Here we have our uh, diesel. Uh, it's for our diesel heater. So that's what that is. And it's just a little cubby where we store our yoga mat and other random things. Here is our max air vent fan and it creates a natural airflow. If you have all the windows open and you have this on, it just creates a really nice little breeze and it's a natural air conditioning. So vent fans are great. Back here we have our full size shower. It's a two by two. So when we're ready to shower, we take out the, take out our Dometic toilet, which is just a cassette toilet and you just step right in. <laughs> and what I really like about our shower is we have a shower door. So this is a Nautilus shower door and it just seals everything in, all the water, and it's just really nice to have. We had a shower curtain in our last van and I really prefer the shower door. And we have a shower shelf for shampoo, conditioner, body wash, and a full size shower head. So it's really nice, feels like it's raining on you. I really like it. Up here is our over cab storage. It goes pretty deep. So we just chuck all of our outdoor gear and any other uh, random things that we have. Uh, we love this and we just chose to do a net so it's easy to take off and access. And then we just put it back when we're done. We have a pocket door right here that goes to the front of the cab. So you just slide it open and go right in. On the floor, we chose to do linoleum. Linoleum is actually eco-friendly. It's made from natural materials and it's also hypoallergenic. And the color that we chose is, um, it matches the green. It's kind of like a green blue color and it hides the dirt very well. It also wipes up super easily. So if you have dirty shoes or if you have a pet, it's super easy to clean. And that's why we chose linoleum. For the walls, we chose to do pine. So we stained the pine and that's what we have for the wall slats. And over here, we just have a fun little mirror because as a girl, I like to have a mirror in the van. I think that's really important. And my closet is over here and my partner's closet is down here. So we each have our own little space in the van, which is really nice. 
And for the technical side that I'm not savvy about, I'll introduce you guys to my partner, Harry, who helped me build this van. Hey there, so my name is Harrison, and um, Alyssa showed you most of the van here, but I'm gonna talk about the electrical system. Um, so in this van, we have 400 watts of solar on the roof. We have a 3000 watt uh, Renogy inverter charger, uh, which also has shore power. So it allows us to plug into a house or like an RV hookup and charge the batteries, say if it's cloudy, we're not getting much solar, or if we're sitting somewhere for a while and we're not driving. Uh, because we also have an alternator charger that charges the batteries while we're driving. We have 200 amp hours of lithium iron phosphate batteries, which is really more than enough with uh, how fast we're able to recharge the batteries. Basically, it's great because we can run 12 volt DC loads, like charging our phones and stuff, but we can also run 120 volt AC loads, like uh, running a blender or charging laptops and things like that. All right, so here's our control panel where pretty much all of the uh, you know, main components, electrical components of the van are controlled from. Um, starting here in the top left, this is our heater monitor. So we do have a 12 volt diesel heater um, and we just turn it on right here and it keeps the van nice and toasty. Um, and we just have a little diesel gas tank down below that's easy to fill up. Um, right here is the inverter switch. So just by pressing this button, it activates all of the 120 volt outlets. So we're able to charge uh, with, with normal household power. Um, you just turn it off and on right there. This is the battery monitor. So it shows us our voltage, how many amps are going in and out of the van, shows us if we're charging. Um, and then here we have our happy jack bed lift switch uh, where you just press this button up or down and the bed comes completely up and down these four knobs here are our lights so we actually have five six circuits of lights in this van um, four of them are right here we have ceiling lights um, separate lights on each counter we do have indirect floor lighting um, as well as indirect lighting around the seating area that kind of glows out from the bed. Um, and then here is just a 12 volt uh, outlet USB charging phones. And then this is the 120 volt um, household plug. And yeah, that's pretty much it for our uh, control panel. All right, well, thanks for watching guys. If you wanted to find out more about this build or anything else we got going on, you can check out our website. It's www.harryandlist.com as well as our Instagrams. I'm Harry Hodds, and this is Lissa Nicole. I'm sure it'll be linked down below. And um, yeah, thanks for watching.